Now, star map. Why why are you telling me to go places? I'm confused. Oh, because we actually we have a campaign mission. Nice. Okay. Well, how about this? How about this? We have one more contract that isn't a multi-mission contract. I said we take care of that one first since we're here. And then we'll move on to the next campaign mission. Uh, so, of course, we're going to take Max Salvage, as you do. And, uh, yeah, Heavy we'll make it happen. Warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. Once again, Rihanna, thank you for explaining how weather works. Look here, track tension. You better get the fuck out of here with that logic shit. We don't do that in this company. I like fire, but I also like salvage. That the two are diametrically opposed to each other is not my fault, okay? Move to the Morton up points and take them out. There is a high amount of hostile activity in the area, Commander. So don't stick around any longer than you Actually, you know what? Hold up. Let's go this way. We look forward to working together. Our employer speaks highly of you. I'm not sure how I feel about a dude in the Waco Rangers having a faux English accent. I know how people in Waco would feel about that. And as someone who lives and was born and raised in Texas, I am not happy about that. Yeah? I'm a filthy colonial, and I'm proud of it. And Erst gifting another sub, this time to Tritfiend. Tritfiend, I feel like it's been a while since the last time we saw you. But welcome to the stream on a Saturday, and welcome back to the Cult of Band Tactical Decisions! And of course, Urs, thank you so much for the generosity and gifting the sub. You do not have to do that, but thank you so much for the generosity, as always. Oh, is that, is that a VTOL? Nope, it's just a regular ground vehicle. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Feel free to attack all those vehicles behind us, guys. Yeah. All right. Down. Come on. There we go. See, I hate that because right around the time that we get in range that we can actually hit the VTOLs with the machine guns, that's when they go beyond my elevation. I got it. Uh, Sierra, I think that would be... No, 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 swift draw. Swift draw, listen. There's, there's nothing attractive about a faux English accent. Again, as a Texan, I, uh... I have a thing for English accents and Scottish accents and Irish accents. And when I say I have a thing, I mean... Um... I need a towel. God bless it. And when you hear a, an accent that's fake, at least me, I can tell. And that just makes me angry. But I was gonna say, Sierra, to your Comstar being Shadow Wizard money gang, um, you should submit that to the Hits Blunt Twitter, because I, I feel like that's on brand. Uh, 
All right, here we go. Here we go. We got more objectives out here. It's a good thing I'm in a light mech, because this would take a long time. I mean, it's already kind of taking a long time. I will like running back and forth. I like blowing stuff up. I'm surprised there's no loot in these bases. Also disappointing. Hey now, hey now. That's uncalled for. All right, guess we'll head to the south here. Ow. Where'd that come from? Was it this dog? No, I don't think it was that donkey. All right, here we go, here we go. Now we got some, uh... Focus target received, Commander. Now we got some resistance. You have made the mistake of letting me get behind you. I don't know why you would do that. But let's just go ahead and take care of this objective real quick while we're here. And then, uh, we got a Jenner to take care of. Would you stop it? I'm gonna leg you. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Yep. You did that to you. Target neutralized. Ah, uh, oh right, we got that one objective that's way over there by itself. Oh, pistol, now that's that's my kind of mod right there. The only thing scarier than an atlas is a fast atlas. Or a fast heavy anything. Ha a fast assault anything. That's why the Mech Bay Heresy was so much fun. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We did not make it. That's why I enjoyed the, uh, the, the Mech Bay Heresy in BTA, because you could do goofy stuff like that. Well, maybe not 110 kph Atlas, but... You could certainly make assaults a lot faster than they were meant to be. Bland aid. Atlas lamb. Look, I have made my distaste for lambs well known at this point, and I know you're just saying that to troll me. However, A Transformer's Lamb is not off the table. I would not be opposed. Well, poop. Jump. 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 I am aware of the situation, computer voice. Alright. We're gonna do this. Or we're not gonna do this. There we go, come on. Come on. Man. I feel like removing all of the jump jets on this thing was a mistake. I'm trying so hard to just climb up here. And if I had just a little bit more in the way of jump jets, this would not be nearly as difficult. Once you've found the 
targeted asset. Move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Let's see, what did we get? Is it anything good? Is it anything good? It is an AC2 burst fire, so no, not really. Yeah, see, Travel Typhoon, you got the idea. You got the idea. Give me an assault mech with some melee weapons and I'll be happy. Sadly, that, that again, going back to the BTA campaign, that was one of the big disappointments was I didn't remember how BTA handled melee weapons and I thought it was more, more similar to Rogue Tech where you could just stick melee weapons on anything and, uh... And I was disappointed to find out that was not the case. Because that was one of my favorite parts of Rogue Tech, is the the whole just, here's, here's a commando, and here's a commando with a giant sword. Does it make sense? No, but it's still fun. No, 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 that, that's quite all right. That's quite all right. I gave it the office. Enemy uh, you're not wrong, Trip Fiend. Uh, again, I I've said before, Rogue Tech is not for everybody. Um, but if you're in the mood for what it offers, it's it's a lot of fun. This is not everybody appreciates that that poor performance kitchen sink approach. Our benefactor will be pleased with our success. Now get back to the dropship. It's up. Where is a dropship? Eight kilometers away? No? Okay. All right. Good deal. It's actually much closer than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, that, that's true. That's true, Stalker. Uh, I mean, and again, for those of you that don't know, like, Rogue Tech, because of all the extra stuff and all the extra calculations and all the all the other things that it has going on compared to a lot of the other big mod packs, Rogue Tech is definitely the most resource-intensive mod. And uh, I've said before, like, Battletech is poorly optimized on a good day, but Rogue Tech just takes all those problems and turns them up to 11. That's not to say you can't run Rogue Tech, but it's a lot tougher to run it well. There we go. Perky fire starter means successful mission. And with 22 picks, is that enough? It is enough to get both mechs. And I guess we'll take the, well, we won't take the AC-5 because we don't have that many picks. We'll take some Frank's Red Hot, because you put that shit on everything. Alright, Battle Mix. Chat, what do you think? Should I, I... You know what? I'm not even gonna ask. We're gonna swap out the Hunchback for the, for the Centurion, because that, that's just what you do. That's just what you do. The Hunchback has not been getting enough love. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? I don't think there's anything. I mean, we got a multi-mission contract, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, let us head a couple of jumps up here and move on to the next campaign mission. Swift Girl, you're not wrong. I, I mean, even, even in the very early days of Rogue Tech, um, the, the devs were getting a lot of complaints about their general attitude and abrasiveness, but as someone who has worked on modding before, and someone who knows how ungrateful the average mod user is, I understand the abrasiveness. Um, I don't condone it, necessarily, because I think some of them take that way too far. 
Uh, but at the same time, I, I, I appreciate why a lot of mod makers are like that because, you know, you're out here doing all this work for a game, sharing it with other people, and then those people have the gall to then complain about what you're providing. Oh, I don't like this feature of this mod that you made and charged me no money for. Uh, please change it. And, you know, stuff like that. But what do we got here? We got stream LRM20. I mean, that's a million C bills. Um, let's see, we got AC20. Everybody likes an AC20. And that's very swift draw. I, I, I mean, we don't have an AC20. I feel like we have to buy one, right? Actually, we have to buy two, because we have two urban mechs. And then, uh, let me see. What do we have? We got not, not really a whole lot else that's, like, stupendous. We do have plenty of AC20 ammo. I just don't know. I mean, the LRMs are okay, but I'm not really using LRMs at the moment. I'm gonna buy this longsword. I'm gonna chase this dream until I can find a damn mech that I can put a melee weapon on. I'm gonna keep chasing this dream, chat. I'm gonna keep chasing the dream. Yeah, Ur Urst is, is not wrong. Not only do I like Swaybacks, I, the further you can get away from Hunchback Orthodoxy, the happier I am. Again, let us not forget we created the baby back. We removed the hunch from the hunchback entirely. So, you know, I I would say that puts me about as far on the heretic side of the spectrum as you can possibly be. If there were a hunchback inquisition, I would have been burned at the stake already. All right, cantina missions. We haven't picked up any of these in a little while. I'll take your Jenner. Uh, go to occupied Merrick territory and collect a thing. We can do that. Go to refugee hideout and collect a thing. We can do that too. And we've already got some stuff. Collect two Jenners. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Alright. So now we just need to complete the collateral damage contract. And it doesn't, I mean, it. we're going to go in and we're going to blow stuff up. Because that's what you do in Mech Warrior. Yeah, see, Jacob Bronski knows. The baby back was a true abomination, but that was the point. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I didn't do that on purpose. That was 100% intentional, and I regret nothing. Also, why is our tonnage limit down? This is some bullshit. Okay, uh, we'll ditch the Centurion and we'll switch over to... Yeah. I guess we'll take the other fire starter. Well, that's... what? Oh, I gave him my fire starter. Whoops. And Urs gifted another sub, this time to Jacob Bronski. Urs, thank you once again for the generosity. You are going ham with these gift subs today. And I thank you so much for the support. And Jacob Bronski, welcome back to the cult of bad tactical decisions. At this point, I know you already know where the Ecto Cooler is. So help yourself. And again, welcome back to the cult. We're glad to have you once again. Ah, uh, let's see. We're right on the limit. Let's do it. Glad to make it hot. All right. 
Oh, only only moving to an objective. Unusual given the circumstances. And pistol, I see you. Hydration income. It's mostly an administration and tactical planning compound. So I don't expect a substantial enemy force to be on site, but you never know. Just make sure to take out the main buildings housing the logistics center itself. Those are mission critical. Rihanna, yeah. statements like that sound an awful lot like Darius, and that's not a thing you want to sound like. Please don't emulate Darius. We can ill afford another Clendathu. I'm sorry, we can ill afford another Darius. Sorry for the Freudian slip, chat. I've been playing some Helldivers lately. Son of a bitch. Oh my. Uh. Go get him. Go get him, boys. Focusing the shared target. Well, go get him. What are you doing? I'm taking care of the lightweights. a turret? It doesn't look like it's moving. It is, in fact, a turret. Alright. There we go. You guys still haven't killed this damn mech. I send three medium mechs to kill a single locust and somehow I still have to be the one to do it myself. It is not my intention to be Thanos, but you guys keep making me be Thanos. Yep, literally cannot hit that helicopter. Get burned, loser! Alright, uh, are we- we're destroying the Logistics Center. Okay. I was a little confused for a second. For some reason I thought we were defending it and not destroying it. I apologize, chat. The bloom is probably killing you guys right now. Speaking of, maybe I should turn that off. Uh... Can I turn it off? Doesn't look like it. Well, never mind. Sure. I feel like there's. I'm about to say. I feel like there's. Uh, there's much less than 20% of this base left. I guess that's fair, Sierra. I just like to me. I I have always played Mech Warrior games in the first person, not the third person. So I just. It feels unnatural to me to use third person.
Come on, guys. I literally can't hit most of this. You're gonna have to do something. Maybe the walls? Do the walls count? They do. Okay, outstanding. That should hopefully turn the tide. And finally, make House Leo rethink their policy on those refugees. Head to the extraction point. I'm on my way to be- Uh, what do the nipple guns look like in third person? Okay, I uh, we'll, we'll look at the nipple guns. What uh, what is the button for third person? I don't remember, Chad. I I know there's a button for it. I just don't remember what it is. V. Well, you can't really see it. You can kind of see the nipple guns, but. Uh, It's okay. You'll you'll see it when we get to the post mission screen. Don't worry. There you go. Nipple guns. Once again, perky fire starter means mission success. Uh, once again, we'll take the max. And I'll take a I'll take a tier two AC five. And now we need to speak to mechanic dude. Hey, mate, what do you got? These bleeding mechs are gonna put me in an early grave. Fix one bloody thing and something else goes to shit. Of course, it doesn't help you pilots treat them like you're in some kind of demolition derby or something. You know the phrase "cost an arm and a leg." Uh, it was made for you, make jokes. No worries though, eh? For hard will fix them up good as new. Nothing better to do, eh? All right, that's me, mate. Rough day, what can I say? Best go on and let me get back to work. But no worries, Commander. It'll be better than you when I'm done with them. You have my word. Well, I appreciate your candor, Fahad. And I understand, you know, these, these are big robots. And it can be a little rough to fix them sometimes. So, I can fully understand your frustration. It makes sense. Um, so, you know, you're doing good work, and I appreciate you fixing everything up. And it's not, you know, it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Also, fixing the mechs is your goddamn job. Sorry about that, Chad. Tough love. Tough love. Commander, I've got great news. Oh, you you, you have stuff to say. Okay. You have stuff to say. Wake, I've been able, with the help of Spears, to track some of their movements. We're trying to home in on their base of operations. For the moment, we don't have all the pieces of the puzzle. But I think it's only a matter of time now. That's great. Spears has been working closely with me on this. He just oh. sent this transmission. Oh. Take a listen. Oh, Brianna. I know this guy. Using the information you sent me and by he didn't ask for this. He didn't ask for this. I ordered my intelligence people to start focusing their efforts on a very specific region of space. I was hoping to pinpoint infernal activity in as close to real time as possible. My gamble paid off. It appears that Inferno forces recently seized a refinery from a private consortium and are using the fuel reserves to help power their operations. Commander, this refinery represents a high value target. By attacking is, it, you can deliver is this a refinery? The first blow of many on your way to dismantling their operation. That doesn't look like a re it, revenge for your father's death. I have no doubt that's been your. It's a bunch of random shapes, dude. Struck that's struck not a refinery. I'll help in any way I can. I've started by sending you the coordinates to the planet where the refinery is located, along with what little intel I was able to gather. It's not much, but enough so you won't have to go in completely blind. Good hunting, Commander. I'll be in touch. I've already added the coordinates into the nav system and put together a briefing from the intel Spears provided. Once you get us to that system, Commander, we can send them to hell where they belong. Amen to that. Also, Rihanna, I know... So Jensen here, I, I know, I feel like he has more pockets on his shirt than the last time we spoke. You're not like, I know he's funding us, but I don't, 
I don't want to see any extra pockets on the pilots, okay? I, I don't know what he does or what his business is, but just keep the pockets to a minimum if it's not too much trouble, okay? Just safety. It's, it, it's a safety thing. I, I don't... Pockets are dangerous. All right, so that takes care of the missions here. Now, I guess we need to travel to this next thing. Let's go to the system. Uh, it's not too far away. Let's go, campaign mission, travel. I apologize, Chad. I, I have to... I have to get on my people sometimes. Gotta keep your people in line. It's, it's, it's one of those things they don't tell you about. Let's see. Blackjack and Locust? No, thank you. I really should have had the mechs repairing before we left. But as we've established, I'm not great at this whole run a mercenary company thing, so... All right. Contracts. First strike. Oh, it's difficulty 40. How about that? Are we actually going to get, like... Are we actually going to... Yeah, we got 250 tons on this one. Well. Don't tempt me with a good time. Actually, you know what? You take one of the Centurions, I'm taking out the fire engine. Yeah, the Locusts are very clearly, they, they were multiplying in the mech bay, that's why we had to get rid of them. Alright. Time to visit upon these heathens. The glory and the power of the 4P. Hopefully we don't die. No problem. Ugh. Delicious buttons and dials and knobs. Not those kind. The civilian settlement is just atop that hill, Commander. Looks like it's already under attack from Infernal Oh my, that's a lot of VTOLs. That's a lot of VTOLs. Come on, you apes. You want to live forever? Go. Go. Best speed. Best speed. Don't wait on me. The hunchback is slow. No, you effing didn't. Is that an enemy? Man, we haven't even gotten to the objective and they've already taken it down to 84%. You know, I've said the same thing, Blanded. Like, I don't understand why anybody would choose to be a VTOL pilot in Battletech. I'm here, Commander. All right, Seer. Well, again, as always, glad to have you on a Saturday. Thanks for hanging out. And I do hope the ops go well. I know you said you were gonna be, you were gonna be boots on the ground rather than uh, than stars and bars this time around. So, good luck letting somebody else do all the hard work. That's a joke. That's a joke. Yeah. And Sierra, on their way out the door, gifting five subs to the community. Sierra, thank you so much for the outgoing generosity. Again, I should be gifting you stuff in, in, in lieu of the operation, but thank you for the support. And again, hopefully the games go well. And maybe we'll see you on the way back. Just depends on whether we're still streaming by the time you're done. Oh, oop, oh, whoops. Okay, let's let's turn on the night vision. I'm gonna destroy this entire compound. 
on accident. Enemy eliminated. All right, did you guys? You, you basically killed everything already, which is good. That's that's not a bad thing. And now we have a butler of VTOLs coming in again. Man, that that is that is a lot of bleed. I can almost hear the fortunate sun from here. Whoops. Man, again, I have got to stop. I'm gonna destroy this whole damn facility. I mean, you're not wrong, Jacob. I, I suppose there's something to be said for following orders. It's just... I don't know. There's part of me that wonders, is it even worth it in Battletech? Because it feels like getting into a VTOL is a death sentence. Getting into formation, Commander. Thanks for protecting these people, Commander. Myself included. I'll let Spears know what you did. By the way, Black Inferno have fortified the refinery. They'll be prepared for you. Been itching for a fight. Thanks for the heads up. Take care of your wounded. Help will be on its way soon enough. Where's the fuel depot? Right, okay, there's Get the fuel depot. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's a refinery. It's a refi okay. Well, here's the deal, Rihanna. If it's if it's a refinery, then don't call it a depot in my HUD, okay? How the hell am I supposed to know the difference? Okay. Roger that. Oh my. What do we get? Gotcha. Oh, a Vendi! A Vendi! That kinda hurt a little bit. We're gonna use some cover. Oh. Uh, Blandy, the answer depends on where you're from. I am American, so it's a depot. If you're of the accented persuasion, it tends to be depot. Or if you want to be really dumb, or if you're from Alabama, it's depot. Oh, they're bring they're pulling out the stops on this one. They're throwing the heavy VTOLs at us and everything. Also, apparently this is like the second string because they're also throwing a bunch of vehicles at us. Yes, I know, I know. I'm getting a little too laser happy. I got it. Yeah, believe it or not, Stalker, home to pot is, is not exactly what they say on the 10. I mean, a lot of people go in and they're like, man, I can't wait to pick up my recreational herbs. And then they get in the store and it's just a bunch of like wood and nails and stuff. I can understand why that would be extremely disappointing. What am I doing? Oh, we're just we're just destroying this, right? Nice shot, Commander. One down, two to go. Yeah. 
Oh my. Again, they, they are throwing the vehicles. I Are these guys political opponents or something? I feel like they're a little too judicious with just throwing vehicles at us like they want these people to die or something. It's really weird. Well, they did drop a mech. At least one. Oh, no, they dropped two. All right, we got a commando, a javelin. Oh, and a wolverine. You guys focus that guy then, for sure. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Where you going? Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. And there goes the Wolverine. You don't want to get close to me, friend. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. If you give me the chance to melee, I'm gonna melee. That's just how I roll. Okay, what is this? This this is the commando. Come here. Get wrecked, nerd. Come here. Come here, damn it. We are kind of taking some heavy damage here. And once again, I'm doing that thing that I know better. And I'm getting bogged down in killing a bunch of dudes instead of moving on the objective. So my bad. My bad. In fact, I might have screwed us. Because we've already lost some weapon systems. And the, the torso section that has the majority of our lasers are currently, uh, in very bad condition. Uh, Dizzy Buttons, I do not believe that is the case. I, I don't recall getting a free Wolverine. I mean, if you're talking about, like, a hero mech or something, like, I understand this is my first playthrough, so I don't know anything about anything. So if there's like a, hey, you can go here and get a free mech, like, I don't know anything about that. That's all news to me. Good work. Keep searching. There's still one more to go. I mean, you say searching. Looks like Inferno are determined to get some payback for what we've done. Well, that's probably not good. going to be very disappointed. Forming on the commander. Oh, come on, get off the wall. There we go. Come on, get off the wall. Good gravy. I know a hunchback isn't exactly known for its mobility, but good lord. Man, there's, there's just something about the 4P and the ability to just, like, click and drag a whole boombox full of lasers. It's cathartic. Is that it? Do we need to extract? Wait a second. Oh. A second dropship is inbound, Commander. Stay sharp. Okay. Copy that. You have no idea who you're dealing with, do you? The power of the oil. Yes, it doesn't matter how such a transgression here today is going to cost you your life. I am going to make sure of that. I don't like your fake Russian accent. 
I know what a Russian accent sounds like, and that ain't it. Good try, though. Oh, is, is this where the guys start singing Latin? I mean, where are the guys? They said there was a dropship coming in. And yet... If it did, it wasn't anywhere nearby. And they're not exactly telling me where I need to be looking for these donkeys. Like, I got no problem with a showdown, it's just... I didn't get the invite. Oh, there's something. I saw you for just a second. A panther? A large laser panther at that? Uh, okay, never mind. Spoke too soon. There's a Warhammer. And, uh, yeah, we basically have nothing now. In that one volley, he just, uh, he just wrecked my shit. We're gonna do this the hard way. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna melee these donkeys. I don't even care. Come here. You can take my boombox, but you can never take my freedom. Wait, would you guys please focus down the Warhammer? That that thing is, is currently shredding the entire... The entire land. So if it's not too much trouble, please destroy the Warhammer. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, nerd. Come on, guys. Focus him down, please. We might not be making it out of this one. But I'll be goddamned if I'm gonna give up. I mean, if we can leg the Warhammer. Oh, shit. Get punched. Get punched, nerd. I would love to help you. I have no weapons. Come here, you. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stop him. He's too fast. Oof. That's an oof. That is an official oop. Oh. Wrong target. Wrong target. Okay, there goes the Warhammer. Once again, if you want something done, do it yourself. Now where did this light donkey go? Go get him. Come here, you. Come here. I just want to talk. It's like, not really. Come here. Get punched by me. Okay, now you're dead. Would, would you guys maybe get this donkey out from behind me if it's not too much trouble? There we go. 
I have no arms, Jed. Maybe I could headbutt him? I mean, the uh, the Centurion does have that bitch in Mohawk. Alright, Dark Sarah. Well, again, good to see you. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. Hopefully you had a good time. And I do wish you the best on the rest of your weekend. Hopefully it's a good one for you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we take the mechs. We always take the mechs. Oof. Oof. Look at those damages. Good lord. I mean, that's mostly the hunchback getting blown up. Yeah? And Thales play with the 100 Bezos bucks saying just a scratch. Yeah, it's just a flesh wound. It's no big deal. We'll call it a draw. Yeah, it is a little strange that they basically gave us a Warhammer as a reward. Which, I mean, it's in pretty bad shape, but it's not the Warhammer we took down. It, it's, it's a different Warhammer, which is kind of odd. Ah, uh, so obviously the Hunchback is gonna have to, is gonna have to get some love. Um, let's have a look at the Warhammer. Let's see what we can do with it. Um. Honestly, I don't think we really need to do anything with it. I feel like it's in a good spot already. I probably dropped the machine guns. How much SRM ammo? Capacity? 320 rounds. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's a part of me that says, drop the machine guns. Drop the machine gun ammo. Max the armor as much as we can. I mean, I could even drop the small lasers. Yeah, it's a medium slot, unfortunately. Ah, uh, let's see. I want... Let's go with the high tier medium lasers. And Manning Mike, subscribing with Prime. Manning Mike, thank you for the Prime. And welcome to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions. Glad to have you on a Saturday, and thank you so much for the support. Again, you guys do not have to do that. Uh, but I appreciate you giving me that support all the same. Thanks for supporting me, supporting the channel, and supporting the community. As I always say, you know, this 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 whole adventure that we're on together, it only it only works because of you. If it weren't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. Hey. Yeah, it might be better to head to an industrial zone before we try to do this. Now that I think about it, cuz this is going to be a very very expensive repair. So it might be better to might be better to head somewhere where it's not going to be ultra expensive. And they want us to head, wow, way up here. Alright, well, uh, we just finished that off, so maybe it's not a bad idea. Let's head to... Let's see what we got here. We got an industrial zone, rare weapon on the market, and a rare mech. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Have a look at what they've got. And then uh, we won't necessarily be able to do any mech bay heresy, I don't think. But we can def- Oh, mana. You know, I do like me a gauss. You know I do like me a gauss. I don't think we have anything we can fit it on just yet. But we have to buy it, don't we? 
I, I've got to buy it. I don't think the LRM-10 is worth it. But let's see, is there any Gauss ammo, is the question. There is, in fact. I'm gonna buy it all. And then, let's have a look at the mech market, you never know. Oh, look at that! A Shadowhawk and a Rifleman. That's actually not bad. Although they're a little, they're a little on the pricey side. Uh, let's let's put the Warhammer back together for starters. That's that's the first thing. So I think we drop the machine guns. Can I put anything other than yeah? It's just just AC twos, so that's not worth it. Uh, we'll drop the machine gun ammo. So we can put the heat sink here in the torso. Oh, that's the engine heat sink. Okay, well. What? All right. Uh, so we want a max armor, of course. And I mean, we're going to be getting most of our damage from PPCs. In... We're already heavy on energy. Yeah. We got the SRM-6. Let's let's see about potentially upgrading that to something a little harder hitting. I mean, I do like an Ardiv or an Artemis. But let's go with the Tier 4. We'll keep the SRM like it is. And let's see. Voila! Rolling in. Resubscribing for a fifth month. With a heart in the chat. Well, heart back at you, Walla. And thank you for five months of support. Again, y'all are going crazy today with the resubs and the gift subs and all that. Thank you guys so, so much for the support. Y you guys are too generous. You're too good to me. But Walla, glad to have you. Glad you could join us on a Saturday. And again, thank you for the five months of support. It is insane to me that it has already been five months since we had affiliate. It seems like just yesterday. Let's see, do we have any better PPCs? It looks like we do not. Um. Is this a medium? No, this is a large slot. Okay. Okay, chat, listen. I have a crazy idea. Alright? I have a crazy idea. Instead of PPCs, we do large lasers. I know, I know it's heresy. I know it's heresy, but bear with me. Bear with me. Then we put in some Frank's Red Hot. Well, I guess we'll just do, we'll we'll do a small laser array. Somebody had suggested that. That's that's not actually a terrible idea. And then in the ballistic slots, can we fit in an AC two? I don't think we can. No, it's six tons. Damn it! I was hoping that by downgrading the laser complement, I could fit in an autocannon. Because you know, I'm a shooter, and I like to shoot. Sadly, it's not in the cards. So let's see. The large laser is 10 damage at 9 RPM with 7 heat. Uh, if we go with the PPC, we're looking at 10 damage which is less, at 12 RPM, which is a little higher fire rate. 8 heat. 
So, I mean, the large laser almost feels like it's a better... And the PPC has more range, but I still feel like the large laser is a better go of it. Double light rifles? I mean... I don't think we could double, but we might be able to fit one in. No, get ahead there. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could fit the light rifle. Yeah, that's true, Jack Tension. I I am not I am not a long range sniper kind of person. Eh. Well, hold up. So here here's my mistake. I'm looking at a tier a tier two large laser versus a tier one PPC. Um so looking at a tier one large laser. I mean, statistically, it's roughly the same. It just has a lower rate of fire, but less heat. It's also lighter, of course. Uh, I mean, let's go with the PPCs for now, and then... Worst case scenario, we'll swap them out. The small laser array we'll use up close and personal. We do have the SRMs. And then I guess, instead of machine guns, we'll add a little more armor. And what's your problem? Mech is inoperable, yeah, we know. Repair all. Whoa. 2.3 million. Two point three million to get this thing put back together. I think it's worth it, though. And we're not losing much firepower. Uh, we're just losing some range by swapping out some of the medium lasers for small lasers. Ah, uh, let's go with that. Start the work. Good lord, 57 days. Uh, in the meantime, let us... Let us get the rest of these boys put back together. And then we'll have to wait that out. But what, what do you want from me? Yeah, I'm not going up there yet. We will go to the Mater and we will have a look at this mech though. If they've got a rear mech, I want to see what it is. <laughs>